So this may seem kind of brief because it is, but I did want to talk about this today because this is sort of like almost sudden news, but basically tomorrow is going to be pretty exciting because Google is set to unveil a brand new game console, like an actual console, like a physical thing that you play games on made by Google. So if you have been keeping up with news for like years at this point, you have probably heard about Google's just Google talking about getting into like making consoles and gaming as a business is one of the largest businesses. In fact, it is way more profitable than both music and movies. So I would not be this is not actually that surprising when you look at it from a business standpoint, but Google is now actually starting to get into it. So you've also maybe been hearing the leaks and rumors in the past few years, mainly the last two years about Google's Project Yeti or their streaming service. Essentially what Google is doing, and they actually made a video that of their streaming service running Assassin's Creed Odyssey pretty well. Essentially what Google is trying to do here is they're working on a service that is like game streaming if you know what that is to sum it up basically the way it works is that you have hardware that doesn't actually have like the stuff inside it to run the games like for example like it's really loosely like a really loose definition like it doesn't have a gpu or a processor inside of it well it does but it's not like one that's capable of handling games the way it works is that when connected to an internet connection a server that's like somewhere somewhere probably Google would own this one and you connect to that and the server processes everything sort of like what crackdown 3 was supposed to have with like that whole cloud thing you know it's gonna be something like that however tomorrow is when it's definitely probably most likely gonna go official or at least Google is gonna talk about it because as of right now in 2019 early 2019 there is only three companies that are making actual like major game consoles and that is Microsoft, Sony, and Nintendo. Two of those are Japanese companies, one of them is a North American company. This means that tomorrow Google, because they're going to the GDC, Game Developers Conference, and they're going to host a keynote tomorrow, and that's confirmed by the way for like 100%. We're now going to have another North American company making a console, but this one is definitely, I really doubt it would be an actual dedicated console. It's going to be a streaming service, like I described, and it's probably going to be Project Stream because Google has already gone public with that. They've already shown the footage of it running Assassin's Creed Odyssey. So I'm going to focus most of the rest of this video on talking about what Project Yeti is going to look like. So. There have been some leaks and rumors going around saying that it's not going to be an actual dedicated console, it's going to be a controller with the stuff inside of it. I don't know how to- I don't know how I feel about that, honestly. I would- that kind of sounds like a plug-and-play thing, like, you know, that just- that just does not sound that great to me. I'd rather have, like, a dedicated box, but that's just leaks and just what people are saying, or just rumors. Honestly, I feel like what Google should do is do what Microsoft is thinking of doing or what they're doing with the next Xbox and having like a dedicated cheaper console that sits on your TV and is streamed. I am totally okay with that because that is just like traditional like there's nothing there's no real difference between that and like a normal Xbox One or a normal PS4 except for the fact that you always need an internet connection so that's really the only difference but when it's built into the controller sure I guess it's cheaper but it's like you have to plug the controller into your TV and it's just like, I would rather have it just always stationary, but that's my perspective. Now as for price, that is, that's an interesting topic. Um, in my opinion, I think Google should try and target more of the cheaper end because if you're streaming it, it doesn't have to be super expensive and it's streaming's got to be free, right? Because like when you buy a console, it's going to be free, right? It should be free. That's my perspective. If it's not free, then that will be really strange because, like, you buy this $200 console that, like, let's just say, for example, it's 200 or, like, 150 bucks. You buy that, and if it's not free, you have to pay again just to actually use it. That's, that, that's, that should not be how it works. I think it's, this streaming service should be free to all the users. 
Now, if Project Stream comes to, say, like, mobile phones or other devices, then, like, sure, that's totally fine. I can, I understand you having to pay for that. But not when you buy a console that can only do that. But again, going back to original, like, base pricing, I think that Google should launch this console at around $150 to $200. I just feel like that is a realistic price. If they go anything over that, then I feel like it'll be, like, going into PS4 and Xbox One territory, which I think is just already just too oversaturated for Google to go into. And then, if they go any cheaper than that, then I would feel like they'd have to make more and more compromises. So, I feel like that is the best place to start. Some people are saying that this is going to be a Chromecast revision, which I actually... That sort of makes sense. If you don't know, the Chromecast is a device that plugs into the back of your TV. It's a very small, like it's essentially, it'll fit into the palm of your hand and you don't see it because it's just sitting behind your TV in the HDMI port. And people are saying, oh, that could be the console. And I mean, that would be okay. I mean, it would look really stealth. But honestly, like I would be totally fine with just a, a normal looking console, like a normal little box with it. So, who knows, it might just be a revised Chromecast that just so happens is able to play games. I don't know if I'd like that, but of course, that is my opinion. So, what is your opinion? Let me know in the comments. I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did, make sure to share it on social media. And as always, see you.